Hey all, this is Mr. Durham, and I am here making a video today going to show you how to take data, put it into Google Sheets, and create a graph using Google Sheets that you can copy paste into your Google Doc lab report. So first things first, you can see my data here. All right, I'm going to use data from the potato lab, which we have recently done. It shows my independent variable. That's my type of water. On my far left column, that's where I want my independent variable. My dependent variable is going to be across the top, on top of each of these columns. Okay, so that's change in mass, change in length. And then I'll have my data points in here. Now you'll notice something very valuable is missing. There are no units. Unfortunately, in Google Sheets, to make a graph, you cannot put 3.51g because it will not be able to read that when it's creating the graph it's just how the code is written so instead I'm gonna click on my title which is change in mass and I'm gonna insert my grams there that were measured in or my units and then change in length we did it in centimeters and that way it'll be on my graph now we can also change that later on in case you forget so First things first, I'm going to highlight everything. Then I'm going to go to Insert, Chart, and it'll come right up. You'll notice the title is not a great title. It's missing some things on each axis, some labels, some units. So, but it does have a key, okay, and it has two lines. Under normal circumstances, this would be a great way to start your graph. However, in this particular lab, where we measured two different units of measure, meaning one is mass and one is length, we, it's really hard to have data points on the left side of the graph when they're different units, okay? So because one is would be in mass, one would be in length. So I'm going to delete this graph. I don't like that. And I'm going to just do one graph on change in mass. So I will highlight change in mass and the independent variables, and I will insert chart again. And there we go, and that's a much cleaner looking graph. So now I'm going to show you how to make sure everything's good on the graph. So you go to setup. If you want a bar graph, you could do a bar graph for this lab. I know it called for a line graph, so we'll leave it there. Then we're going to customize it. Okay, there's a lot of uh, things you can do to pretty this graph up if you like. I'm not going to go through a lot of them. That's totally up to you. If you want to change the background color to say like a gray, uh, maybe we want the border to be, I don't know, uh, green. Uh, you can do those things. Um, so the other thing is, if you'd like a line that's going to be rounded, you can click a smooth line. Okay, if you don't want that for this particular one, you don't. We'll keep it off. So then we go to, we're done with chart style. I'm going to go to chart and access titles. This is very important. Okay, the first one, I'll hit this drop down menu. I'm going to go to chart title. I do not like change in mass versus. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to call this, let's say, potato lab change in mass okay and it should change it up top there it goes all right again there's some formatting issues I'm not gonna mess with those then I'm gonna go to my chart subtitle I don't need a chart subtitle if you want to put one in you can the horizontal axis that is the bottom the x-axis I'm going to label that types of water okay and that shows right up and then if I want to go to my vertical axis it has change in mass and grams already, so that's actually well done for you. Okay, again, you might have to change it. You might not. Just depends. Uh, the series, this is blue, so if you want to change it, uh, let's say uh, red. We can do red. Okay, let's say you want to show your points. Personally, I like to show points. I'll do seven x. You can see those. If you don't like circles, you can do squares, diamonds, either or. Okay, I'll put some diamonds on there. Now, this one's more important. Uh, for the aspect of the graph, I personally like to click on data labels. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you the actual amount values that are shown. So then you'll notice the one on the left's missing because they're above the point. And so I, don't, I want that one to show up. So I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to change position instead of auto. I would like it, let's say, to the right. So now I can see all three of my data points. Okay. Uh, the next thing is a trend line. If a graph calls for a best fit line and you click that, that will show you that. You can also change the color, opaqueness uh, of that line as well. I do not need a trend line for this, so I'll leave that off. Okay, and that's it for series. And we'll click on legend. In this particular instance, there's only one line, so we don't need a legend, so I don't have one in there. If there was more than one line, you would for sure need a legend, or also known as a key. 
and you could be able to edit it right there. Uh, horizontal axis, I kind of already did these. Okay, vertical axis, I did that as well. The last thing, grid, li grid lines and ticks. Uh, if you'd like to add some tick marks in there, you can. Uh, count spacing is fine. So I'm going to put in three because it's from zero to two. I want 0.5, I want one, I want 1.5. So it shows some lines. I personally I also like to show the major ticks. Okay, and I like to show the minor ticks in here. So that way the graph is easier to read. Again, those are personal preference, but that's what I like to have them in there. If you don't like these grid lines going across, the minor ones, you can take those off as well. But I personally think it's a little bit easier to read the data points that way. So now that my graph, it looks in good shape. What I'm going to do is copy and paste this uh, graph into my Google Doc. So the best way to do that is to screenshot, copy, and paste. So in order to screenshot, usually you guys might know this, it's Shift Command 4 and you can highlight and drag what you are taking a picture of. However, I'm going to give you a better shortcut. If you hold down Shift Control Command 4, you'll see my crosshairs come up. I'm going to highlight what I need to copy and paste. It's going to take a picture if I unclick. You hear that we go. Now it also copies it to the clipboard. So that way when I go to my lab, which I just have in a blank document, you would have your lab, I can go to edit, paste, and there it is. Okay, if you want to move it around, I can select this, the wrap text, so you can uh, type to the side of it if you like that. If not, keep it off. If you'd like to break the lines, you can leave it there. So that way you can't type anywhere to the side of the graph. And that's it. So good luck on your potato lab or any other lab you are doing in school this year. Hopefully this helps and thanks for listening.